Hey, what's up, you guys? My name is Emma. Today I'm reacting to Fruits Basket Second Season, Episode 8. Anyways, I'm gonna jump into this episode on the count of 3, 2, 1, now. Hey! Trying to invite her to the vacation house? Playing pretend love makes me cringe. Mm. Mm, doesn't seem like it at all, no. You better not go. Oh. Uh... Yeah. It's never that simple. God, Kagura. What happened last month? What led to that? I mean, it's Kagura. Things happen, but... For what Isuzu? I don't know. I'm gonna talk about that. I think more at the end. I wish I had the manga with me right now, but... I don't. Currently, we last left off with, you know, Yuki and Toru at the beach, um, talking. Kyo's still at the house, and all the other Zodiacs are over in the place with Akito. So, you never know. And so even, you know, we see it here, Kagura's mom was all like, yeah, don't go, you know, the head of the family's there, don't do that. We're not having you, um, get hurt over there. But then stuff with Rin. Sorry, it's easier to say. Um. I don't know. Okay. Oh, we're even starting here, okay. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, so everyone got back, okay. Mm hmm Hmm. She was just thinking about something and it was, yeah. Kyokun and time to do work, yep. Yeah. They went again, okay. There could be many reasons for that. Oh. 
Oh, Toru. Oh. I don't know. Toru, that's... There's that line. I do want to know specific details of that, yeah. It's okay. <laughs> it can be. There's nothing wrong with that. All over harder today. It's a Shigure's turn. Hmm. The truth. Okay, Shigure. Sure, I'm using. Not, not, anyways. It's a sandcastle. Yeah. You suck at this. Moichi! Hey! Oh my god. Oh my god. Luigi. Well, yeah. An attempt at a sand castle, okay? <laughs> you said the same thing. <laughs> You're doing your best. It's okay, Yuki. <laughs> okay, that's the thing you won't apologize for. No, really wasn't. No.
so quiet that I couldn't hear it. Mm -hmm. That's pretty true. Uh, he might be on some fundamental level, maybe. Somehow suddenly felt bolder. Yeah. I have to fix something real quick, so... I'm gonna stop this now. Mm. Tore his hair in that outline. Yeah. So cool. It's still distant. Torino? Yeah, okay, okay. Akito's asking? Rin. So much is okay. Out for a walk. Ugh. It does seem like that, yes. Need to isolate her. Oh my god. Soon. Pro as a act as a proper one? Your substandards don't work. Stop trying to beat you. Yeah, that's true. Oh, I'm scared you brought that up, actually. Holy hell. Um, he's not a monster, so therefore it is fun to be with him. Hey, look! Yeah, it's starting to take shape. <laughs> yes, a spectacular castle for everyone. They say it's because of the cat spirit. It's similar to the stuff with rain, right? From some great monk or something.
Mm. A sacrifice worth more than another's life. Enjoy. God, that has happened to me. <laughs> that, that was... <laughs> I'll kill you. <laughs> I, I, oh God, that was... <laughs> I'm laughing at myself. <laughs> Oh, you too. And Akito saw that. Hmm. What do you understand? The most deleted of all is the monster. No. Not at all. Rin. No, it's Yuki. I'm like... But she actually isn't far. So I'll turn the distance, I believe. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> that I don't want anyone to hear. Jesus, okay. Oh, that's going far away. Hello? Toru! <laughs> God! <clears throat> Why? Or Isuzu. Yep, yep, nope, nope, and for the love of fucking God, Rin. Oh, that was bad. Yeah. Toru. I know this is very fast, but yeah. I don't think it has stuff to do with Haru quite yet. Yeah.
low blow. Yeah. Yeah, he left without, yeah, permission. What are you thinking there, Yuki? His voice right there. I just looked at the time and realized time's almost up. Mm hmm. Uh. No, we're leaving. Oh no, we're leaving Kyo out of this, please. Oh no. Oh sh. Yes, he really is. He's enjoying every second of this, and the freaking episode's over. And no. No. Well, anyways, like Toru was saying, she was finally introduced to the horse, Rin, Rin Suzu. Um, I'm... Akito, I swear... Shigure, for that matter, I swear, <laughs> you're enjoying this so much. It was partially your idea, so it makes sense, but... Toru, like, obviously is gonna hold the, you know, the stuff that happened on on the short with Yuki to mind. And, you know, stuff with Kyo is always go complicated. Like, not just because of the fact that he's a Zodiac, but specifically because it's a cat spirit. And so, you know, um, you have, like, you know, Yuki in particular, where he's, like, telling Haru, you know, you're always worrying about others and not yourself, while I'm always worried about myself. You have Toru, who in instinctually, like, really worries about all these people. And in this episode, she even, like, you know, actually brings up, she's like, I have a tiny voice too, my precious. Okay. Uh, you know, she she doesn't want anyone to hear, you know. Something she's holding in herself, too. Which is one of the first, like, during the season. But, like, you had her incident with Hero where, you know, she, ha she was on the, like, balcony saying, I'm okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. We're always together with flashes of things. And, you know, having her here be like, yeah, I, I, I too have things, uh, you know, like that. And, you know, Hero even equated it to maybe she also has hidden feelings and stuff, so. That's something, and I know I'm drawing a lot of attention to it for literally seemingly no reason, but it, it's just something there. Whenever Toru says something to, like, even tiny bit, insinuate that, like, there's something under that, like, you know, for the most part, cheerful, but, like, super motherly, uh, like, warmth around her. It's, like, we're, we're slowly starting to see her not, not really open up, because so far, the only person who's really starting to see through her completely is Kyo. And even then, he doesn't know every, well, quite what's on her mind. Anyways.
let's actually get into this. Sorry for, like, the, like, buffer. It wasn't even that it buffered. It was more of audio jumped, and so it was completely out of sync. And I was going to sit there and watch it like that, so I wouldn't have to stop it like that, but... Uh, out of sync audio like that, like that bad. Can't do it. But yeah, no, Akito, after like talking to Hatsuharu, uh, goes to Kurano and is like, You want to meet Toru? Well, no, you know, you want to meet her. And it's just like, wh- What do you have in store? With Kurano, you know, going and saying, She's not alone, she has Kyo. And freaking the most. Um, like, Akito scares the crap out of me. I'm not even gonna try hiding that. Um, you stuff with Rin. Oh my god, I just want more. <laughs> but you yeah, know, yeah, <laughs> superiority complex. That is one thing you can say about Akito. But you yeah, better act as a proper zodiac. You're substandard, so I'm worried. Sure. We'll go back to being all alone. But Akito straight up in this moment's just like how is being with a monster fun? I don't It is interesting see- seeing um Pereno bring this up though. Part of me's like why? But they still ended up seeing them, and I feel like that could have triggered Akito as well. Just seeing them here, like he said, you know, like Akito said, um, a, what a, like, look, easygoing or carefree monster. Mine's gonna come back, but I'm not waiting for it. Akito, whatever you It's like, There's so many of these moments where it's, like, more upbeat, but there's always, like, the underlying worry. There's always something just below the surface that's slowly trying to rise to the the surface, yeah. And stuff about the previous cat in what the rosary's made of. Um, supposedly human bones, and, you know, the red is blood. But yeah. So much stuff that's like just thrown onto anyone with the cat. And then the way it comes and ruins this great moment, but like I laughed a lot because literally that has happened to me, like <laughs> and my reaction was jokingly exactly like Kyo's. Honestly, if my sister was here, she could tell you I did this. And yes, he does honestly have no chance against the ocean. But oh yeah, of course. Akito over here having to see it. With Yuki, you know, sneaking. Yuki's being more. adventurous is not the right word, but in a way, like with what he's. a bit more comfortable with doing. Like when you think back to. I think it's episode 12 of the first season. Yuki would not, like... For one, Yuki was terrified within being around Akito for even, like, maybe five minutes. But now, like, having Akito here, he probably wouldn't wouldn't have, like... Maybe he would have tried running, but, like, here he is. He, he comes out because he, he's um worried. He sees Rin, follows Rin. And then not only that, he he goes, I snuck out, so I have to go back now. He actually goes back, because he knows it will be more trouble if he stays out. But it's true, like, it's... Akito's starting to... try to separate them more often. And with the superiority complex line, you know, they also mention how Akito's walking them back one by one. Or something like that. And yeah, that's really just trying to give him time to prove a point. Stuff with Rin, I... 
it's so so confusing which <laughs> I can't find the right word and I feel uh, but yeah like in like at the thought of um someone getting Hattori or even anyone freaking Ring just tries to kick Toru and if Yuki wasn't there that would have been really bad but yeah, no, that reaction there. It's more violent and angry sounding as to Yuki at, before he he was like unable to talk. It was like, uh uh-uh. uh. And ha- Haru was like, okay, yeah, you don't want any us to call anyone. But yeah, no. Uh, for a final thing I'm going to talk about here is like Rin's like, um. Yeah. I'm, like, waiting. Yeah. Toru's able to actually hear these things. Don't play it cool. You're just Akito's toy, after all. And, you know, it's instant, like, what? how's Yuki taking this? And, like, she sees it, too. That didn't, like, instead of making him freeze up or even cower... He actually, in a way, stood strong there. And Yuki going, I'm amazed she can get mad while stark naked. I don't think that fact really bugged her too much in that moment. I feel like emotions were definitely guiding her responses to all of that, and it's something. We got to see Kagura again, um, so yeah. Apparently, um... Rin's been staying there, I'm assuming since, you know, she got out of the hospital, and apparently things haven't been going well, there have been some fights, disagreements, and she mentions, like, you know, this, like, fake love to Kagura, and and, like, it's true, isn't it? Which could get things going with Kagura as well, but honestly, I just can't wait for next episode. That's always the same, no matter what episode it is, but... Anyways, um, next time is going to be <clears throat> my precious. I I'm stuck between two voices because for some reason I can't tell the difference between them at this moment. But I don't know. I I'm scared of what could be next episode. But other other than that, I don't really have an idea of what. Well, maybe I do. I don't know. Anyways, let me know your thoughts about this episode. What you you know. General consensus. Uh, how did Akito make you feel during this episode? Because I just felt constant stress and anxiety from Akito this entire time. And uh, I'm really curious when Kurino will actually end up running into Toru. And uh, why the hell Akito wants Kyo to come over. Though I have a pretty good idea. Because... Okay, not gonna go there. Anyways, see you guys next time. Hope you have a great day or night, whatever the heck you're watching this, and I hope you have a great, I'm repeating, great day. (laughs) No matter what. (laughs) Bye.